It's called rotoscoping. You can also do it with a mask, though it won't be very clean. So I just brought in the footage there to create a composition really quickly. You don't have to click this. You can just drag this down to here. So we have our person right there that we're gonna try and cut out. Let's just look at the footage really quick. And then we move down, move our uh, working area down. And from here, this is where the magic happens. We click on this, this brush. Nothing's happened yet. And then we double click on our footage here. It creates this layer panel. And from here, we can cut our dude out. So the first frame of this typically doesn't look so great. Um, and you start out with just your brush this size, you paint along your person. It's already kind of capturing him pretty well. There we go, just keep on painting along. I'm sure it'll capture some stuff we don't want. Okay, so now it's captured this area over here. So we can make our brush bigger or smaller by holding the control key and moving left and right. So I'll just make it bigger, take all that out because we don't need that. It is pretty good, pretty close. So this first frame will look bad. It's not perfect, but After Effects luckily is pretty good and it will just start to do the work for us. So we're gonna move forward one frame and down here you can see this is the area that it's going to rotoscope as we move forward. Uh, you're gonna see it start to turn green. So we're gonna move forward one frame by hitting page down and look, it kind of magneted way better to the body, except for this little area here that I'm gonna paint out. We don't need in between the arm. Okay. And then we're going to continue on. And each time we move forward, it'll keep on cutting out more. Or I mean, sorry, not cutting out more, but it'll keep on uh, adjusting it along with the person. So you can go frame by frame like this to just make sure it's going okay. But if you're impatient and you don't care, you just move your playhead way forward and it'll start to do it for you at a much faster pace. So now you see that it's cut out this person, um, but when we go to the composition, this is what it looks like. You see the person cut out. But what we need to do to make sure it stays is click this freeze button. If you don't click that, it won't work right. It won't keep the information that you've created by cutting out the person. Great, okay. So we're still in the layer panel. Doesn't cut the person out. We move to the composition. We see he is cut out. Whoa, there he goes. Just fit it up to 100%. There he goes. It's not perfect. It's pretty, pretty good. I'm going to just create a uh, something behind there so that we can see the imperfections a bit better. You can always create a, or it's essentially a filling up the whole screen by just double clicking the rectangle tool. It'll bam, big screen. I'll drag that under there. Now we can see there's like some black lines along the edges. We can adjust that by changing the feather. You can change the reduce chatter, all these different things. Shift edge, you see it just gets wider like that. That's not so great. And also you kind of want to plan ahead uh, when doing rotoscoping. You, It's better to, sh uh, to set a high shutter speed on your camera so there's not much motion blur so it makes it even easier for it to capture it um, but also there's a use motion blur button down here which helps a lot you see our shutter angle we can set it to high quality and uh yeah it will load slower but overall it is uh, a bit cleaner and that's how to rotoscope